Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making this rattlesnake hat with an actual rattle. So let's get started. It's pretty long. It's a pretty long project. So, um, probably going to be having quite a bit of pause screens. So we're going to start at the bottom, at the rattle. So I'm going to start with the brown. You can use whatever color you want. And we're going to start with, oh uh, sorry, I'm going to use a 5 millimeter or an H hook. We're going to start with a magic ring. You're going to put six single crochets inside that ring. This whole thing is not going to be single crochet, but for the, for the rattle part, it's going to be single crochet. And there's a reason for it. So. so for the next six rows, you're going to put one single crochet in each of these six stitches for six rows. So if you have one of these, this would be a fine time to whip it out. This is a row counter. You can buy one at on Amazon. It's got an LED light and everything. Anyway, so for the next six rows, so right off the hop, we're going to go right into a into a screen. It shouldn't take long. It's You're only doing six stitches for six rows. When you get a couple of rows you can just... We, we'll do that together. It doesn't take long and I don't really use a marker. I just count six and then every time I come around I hit my row counter. So pull your tail tight. I've only done one row but I'm gonna make a knot doesn't have to be a tight knot because it'll just slip on its way through if it's tight. But I just want to cut off some of this. Just so it's not in my way annoying me. So there's no slip stitching. There's no none of that. We're just going to go around. I need the spiral to put these on after. So, I need the single crochet spiral. And then we'll make a normal hat. So this is my second row. I'm going to flip it inside out or right side in, inside out, right side in, however you want to look at it. Pull my middle closed again. So that's my six rows. So we're on round eight now and we're going to do one single crochet and an increase. Now you're going to need your stitch marker. So that's one single crochet with your stitch marker. And then the next stitch is your increase. So two single crochets. That's your increase. And that's your repeat. One single crochet, increase. So you should have nine stitches at this point. You're 
you're just going to do one single crochet in each of those nine stitches. So just count to nine. So your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. So that's number one with your marker. It's number two, then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. So your repeat is one, one, two. So you should have 12 stitches now. So at this point, um, I'm going to use another brown color because I only have the one. Actually, I could probably, uh, take from the inside of my cake. I just took some from the inside of my cake. So I'm going to make um, the spirals. Um, after this, we're going to be going to double crochets. So you want to first do a slip knot. So this is going to make the rattle look like a rattle. You're going to start down at the bottom and you're going to grab a hold of one of these posts you're going to put your you're going to put your little knot on there and tighten it you're going to pull through the post and you're going to make a stitch and then I can get that out of the way you're going to go to the next post and you're going to make a stitch and you're going to just keep making stitches and it's going to spiral its own way up to the top so it'll f it'll find its own way now if it's not you can make an adjustment so we're coming back around here I know it's probably hard to show you when I've got my all of this crap in the way. So I've come back around and this was my starting point. So I'm I'm just above my starting point. Now if you don't want your rattle to be that close together like your things, then you can just do this but on a diagonal. But I'm just going to follow. It's the only way I could think of doing it to make it, make it look like a rattle. It's the only thing that came to my mind. So, it might seem like it is time consuming, but really at the end of the day, it's cool. My granddaughter absolutely loves this hat. She come over while I was in the middle of designing it and she's like, what are you making? <laughs> it's a snake hat. She was very intrigued right from the very beginning. She's only seven, but she definitely wants the hat. So I told her she could have the hat after I made the video. So still doing the spiral now, like I said, if you want to, you know, cut this short or, you know, do something different, then you can just go up on a diagonal. So we're not putting anything in this, not getting stuffed or anything. It's just going to be like this. So you might want to consider just having some patience and, and going, going around. But it's up to you.
Oops. Getting near the top. I got my finger in there, so it's getting harder to grab a hold of anything. I don't know where else to hold on to. So that's my rattle. And now that I'm back up here, or wherever you want to stop, it's completely up to you. I'm just going to slip stitch and I'm going to fasten off. And then I can just tuck this into this tail. Like I said, it's not getting stuffed or anything. So you don't have to weave far. And I'm not even going to cut that off. I'm just going to tuck it on the inside and be done with it. Here we go. So this guy, I can just get tucked away. So I got to wet my end. That guy was probably not going to go in very well. So I'm just going to pull it through in and then out if I can go in. Try to shove him right up there. Mm. Cut it off there. I pulled my stuff. That's okay. There, so let's continue. So we're gonna be doing double crochets now that we've got this rattle done. We don't need to, we can start doing the hat. So we're gonna also change color. So let me tell you something. I like to weave in my new color before I get to the end because it's way easier for me to hold one piece of yarn than it is to hold multiple pieces of yarn. So I'm just going to stick that guy down in there. And now, still using the brown, I'm going to weave in the camo. Oh, I never even told you what I was using for colors. Well, it's the same colors as the first hat that's in the pictures. So I'm going to weave in the camo. So when I get to my color change, all I have to do is drop the brown, pick up the green, or the camo. Now I'm going to weave in the brown for a bit. Sorry, I'm talking with this thing in my mouth. So now I'm going to weave in the brown for a bit, just until I'm comfortable. You know, I don't think it's going to pop open. I gotta take that stitch out. That was supposed to be a double. Let's try that again. Let's see if I can do it holding my uh, stitch marker in there. <laughs> so now we're going with double crochet. So this first stitch that you're gonna do is gonna be a double crochet with your new color. So you're just gonna do one DC, one double crochet all around. So you should have 12 stitches still. I'm going to weave in my brown for the probably the whole root around just because there's only one piece of yarn the way I do it so it's not that huge of a deal and yeah this is going to look silly but at the end of the day you know going from single crochet to double crochet it does look silly when you first start doing it but oops just did a single. But I'll show you in a minute. Still weaving in my brown. I'm just about around again. You don't have to do the full turn. I'm just taking precautions. Last thing you want is this to be popping open. So all my yarn is acrylic, I gotta say. It's not wool or anything. So I'm going to cut my brown off. I am done with that. 
for now, well, period. I'm just working with the grain. So this doesn't come in a cake. I made it into a cake. It comes in a ball. So, doing what I did, that's going to be the outcome. You, it's not even, you're, it looks silly now, but that's what it's going to look like after. So, it's not going to be so silly after. People are going to be like, hey, where'd you get the snake hat? Like, there's not going to be any guessing game. It's a snake hat. So, moving on. Your next round is going to be three double crochets and an increase. So you're going to put your one double crochet in there with your marker. So this should give you 15 stitches. We're, we're, we're climbing the ladder very slowly. That's number one. That's three double crochets and then your increase of two double crochets in the same stitch. So as you finish your increase at the marker. So you should have 15 stitches. So your next round is going to be four, soon, four double crochets and an increase. I almost said singles. That's number one. That's four double crochets and then your increase of two double crochets in the same stitch. So this should take you to 18 stitches and then you can do one single crochet in each of those 18 stitches for your next round. And I will see you on the other side. So your next round is going to be five double crochets and an increase. That should bring you to 21 stitches. That's number one. That's five double crochets. And then two double crochets in the same space for your increase. And repeat. So you can keep doing this and then one double crochet in each of those 21 stitches. I'll see you on the other side. So your next round is going to be six double crochets and an increase. That's number one. So this should take you to 24 stitches. And then you can go and do your one, single, one double crochet in each of the 24 stitches. That's number one. Six double crochets. And then your increase of two double crochets in the same space. And repeat. So your next round is seven double crochets and an increase, which will bring you to 27 stitches. And then you can do your one double crochet in each of those 27 stitches. But for now, that's number one. Seven double crochets, and then your increase of two double crochets in the same space. So 
So this is what you should have at this point. So your next round is going to be eight double crochets and an increase. So that's number one. That's eight double crochets and then your increase of two double crochets in the same space. So after you repeat that, then you can, you should have 30 stitches and you can put your one double crochet in each of those 30 stitches. So your next row is going to be nine double crochets and an increase, which will bring you to 33 stitches. So that's number one. Assign double crochets and then two in the same space and repeat. Then your next round is going to be one double crochet in each stitch. So your next row is going to be ten double crochets and an increase. And that should give you 36 stitches. That's 10 double crochets and then 2 double crochets for your increase and repeat. So your next round is going to be 12 double crochets and an increase. That's 12 double crochets and then two in this space for your increase and repeat. So your next round is going to be 14 double crochets and an increase. Bring you up to 48 stitches. And your increase. So we're almost done. We are at 
Now 16 double crochets and an increase. We're only going to 19 double crochets. And, oh, sorry. I lied. We're going to 20 double crochets and an increase. So four more plus one double crochet in the middle. So eight more rows. And I am just going to put those rows because I think I've done enough where you understand my pattern. So I'm going to put my rows that you have left up on the screen, including this one, of 16 double crochets and an increase, plus the counts you should have. And I'll meet you back here. And uh, I'll do the last couple of rows with you. And then we'll make some eyeballs. All right, I'm all done. My 20 double crochets plus my two rows of one double crochet in each stitch. So the next thing we're gonna do is this. Oh, it might be really hard to see. So this is a ribbed edge. Like you would find like on a winter hat so hard to see because the camo these are fall hats by the way this none of this is made with wool but if you make some of this with worsted wool or something I think it'd be great I'm just making fall ones though but I'm still gonna rib the top because I like the look of it so we're just gonna do two rows of this so it's front post back post double crochet So that's post, this guy right here, let me find my pointer, where my pointers are. So that's post, that's post, these are posts. We're going to alternate front post, back post, so you're going to yarn over, you're going to go in, so just below the stitches here. You're going to go in, pick up the front post, you're going to pull through and then complete it like a double crochet. So that's your first one with your stitch marker. The back post double crochet is yarn over, go underneath that stitch and around underneath the other stitch, pull through. And now we're going to do front post again. So that's what it should look like, which might be really hard to see. So yarn over, we're going to do back post. So we're going to come in from the back, just underneath that stitch. And we're going to swing out through the other stitch. And we're going to pull through and complete our double crochet. Front post, we're going to go in the front and we're going to pick up the post. We're going to pull through and complete it like a double crochet. So we're just going to alternate front post, back post. And we're going to do that for two rows. If you don't want to do this for two rows, then just do two rows of regular double crochets. And I just do back post. So this is how you can tell. I know this is camo, so it's probably really hard to see. But 
your front posts are right at the front and your back posts are right back there. I know it's hard to see. Especially when you're not used to looking at them. If you've never done these before, you're probably it's not they're not it's not easy. Once you get onto it though, it's fabulous. Took me a while. So when you do back post double crochet, you have to kind of manipulate it a little bit to pull through or you're just going to get stuck. That's a front post, so my back post. When I start to pull, I kind of have to manipulate a little bit because you'll get stuck. So it is a little awkward. So just go here underneath the stitch. Don't go down into here. Just underneath the stitch. So I'm back around to my stitch marker. I've got a back post on there. I'm going to do a front post. We're going to do another round. Another round on top. So there's nothing special. You just keep going, literally. You just literally keep going. But making sure that back post is on top of back post. Front post is on top of front post. So I am at the end of my front post and back post. I ended with a back post. So I'm just going to come down into the next stitch and I'm going to do a slip stitch and I'm going to fasten off. So I want to fasten off with, you know, enough to weave in my end just so I know it's not going to come undone or anything, but you can do whatever your little heart desires. So I am going to come through the next stitch. You can uh, make a knot and pull. done that part so yarn is pretty stretchy so you can just pull that out it doesn't have to be like that once it's been on the kid's head a couple of times it's um it's going to be a-okay so um moving on to the eyes and then that's it we're done not a super fast project, but not a super difficult one either. So, um, you're going to need a four millimeter or a G hook. So I've got my four millimeter. We are starting with black. Let me move this. So we're going to start with black just for like a quick second. So you make a slip knot. So make an X, lift that up, move it out of the way, and pull on the guy underneath. Pull up on that. That's your slip knot. 
You're going to chain six. You're going to, wow, that's hard to see. You're going to single crochet back up. four single crochets and then your last stitch you're going to put four single crochets into this stitch. You're switching to yellow too at the same time. So put three single crochets and then your last single crochet you're going to go in. Oh good lord. I don't have 15 hands. You're going to go in, you're going to pick the yellow up instead. And you're going to pull through. So that's four stitches in this last one. You can pull your slip knot tight. You're going to have to weave in all these ends. So turn it sideways. This is your slip knot here where this yellow is. Right next door is a stitch. From there up, actually in there, you're going to put three single crochets. One in each stitch. The next two stitches, so this one's a weird one, kind of turning over, but in the next two, so I'm still trying to weave in all my ends, it's just awkward. You're going to put two single crochets in each. So I'm going to stop weaving in because that's just annoying me now. So two single crochets in each in the next two. So you should be coming around the corner now. You're going to put four single crochets, one in each stitch. You're going to do two single crochets each in the next two stitches, just like the other side. Do four single crochets. Now you're going to do two single crochets in each stitch around. So we can slip stitch and fasten off. Fasten off with enough to sew with. So I'm going to go from behind into this next stitch. I'm going to pull this through to the other side and then I'm going to pull up. So that it evens it out a little bit. So there's your one snake eye. I'm just going to cut those because I weave them in so I don't really need to worry about it. So let's make our other eye. You're going to single crochet four. You got one hole left. You're going to put four single crochets all together, but we're going to do a color change halfway through, just like the last one. So put three single crochets. Do I keep saying double? I don't know. 
three single crochets this is where our our color change comes in so we're gonna go in we're gonna grab our new color as awkward as it is we're gonna grab the new color come through and make a stitch pull that slip knot closed pull everything tight everything tight so now we got our yellow and we got to weave in all this other crap so right next to the slip knot which is hard to see right now because I'm dealing with this black but you're gonna do three single crochets one in each stitch You're going to do two single crochets in the next two stitches. I'm going to be done with this weaving in. You're going to do four single crochets. That's four single crochets. Then you're going to do the same thing as before. You're going to put two in each the next two stitches. Then you're going to single crochet four. And now the squishy part, two single crochets in each stitch around. All right, I got both my eyes done. So it's pretty easy peasy to um, stitch on because it I mean, there's nothing closed. Everything's open. So it's pretty easy peasy. There's no real rhyme or reason, but I did put it near the cuff. So I went into the hat and then up through. But then I'm just going to do stitches like this, I think. Here we go. I got my rattlesnake hat all done. My eyes are not the same. This got a different yellow. But there she is. This will fit a 19 inch head, so a kid's head. Thanks for joining me guys. I'll see you in the next video.